Welcome back to the channel and we have some big news for Wonderland today. Danny is actually leaving Wonderland while stepping down from a major role in Wonderland. Before we get any further in this video, remember nothing is financial advice. Please do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. If you guys are enjoying these Wonderland updates, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date as soon as any brand new info is revealed. I'll give you guys an update on the channel and show you the progress of my W memo staking with my rewards. So Danny made this post yesterday and let's go through it. The future of Wonderland DAO, giving power to the frogs. So again, this was posted yesterday around afternoon. Here we can see it's been nearly a year since we launched Wonderland. What started as a simple own fork and avalanche quickly evolved into the one of the largest DAOs in the world. Since day zero, the plan has always been to transition Wonderland to a community-led organization. The community is what makes a crypto project successful, and so the community should have the power to forge its own path. During my time in Wonderland, I've learned to listen to what the community wants and over the past several months it has become clear that there is a strong community desire for independence and decentralization. I've spent lots of time trying to achieve this with the current Wonderland structure but have realized that small incremental changes won't work. True decentralization requires a more foundational change. The last few weeks have shown me that this organization is mature enough to be run entirely through its elected committee and members. I believe this community has reached a point where my leadership is no longer lead needed. For this reason, I have decided to take a step back from Wonderland. Please accept this post as a notice of my formal resignation as interim treasury manager and advisor to the DAO. The multi-signers and I will transfer the multi-sign rights to whoever is elected by the community and I will work with the moderators to ensure that the transition period runs quickly and smoothly. After this transition period, my role in Wonderland will be that of a community member like everyone else. I have decided not to request more power from the DAO to execute my own vision in favour for a more collective vision that is dictated by each and every frog in the DAO. I believe this is the best path forward for Wonderland and it goes without saying I'm extremely proud of what we have built and achieved together. I'm a builder at heart and no matter what I will always keep building. In the upcoming weeks I will refocus my attention on Popsicle and Abracadabra. I'm hoping to use the lessons I've learned from Wonderland and apply them to make stronger communities and better products. DeFi needs innovation right now and I can't wait to see all of the new I can't wait for you to see all of the new ideas I've been working on. Love Danny. So yeah, we can see from that post there it is his formal resignation as treasury manager and advisor to the DAO. Because again, Danny was basically like a co-owner or founder of Wonderland. And this right here is basically showing that he is stepping back from his treasury manager and advisor position in the DAO and he will just take a role like a normal member like everybody else. So again we can see with the multi sign I guess he is being removed from that and there will be a transition period to elect somebody new they were saying. Yeah here we can see through his elected committee members and the yeah multi signers will transfer the multi sign rights to whoever is elected by the community. And Danny will basically help it all transition. So yeah, big news. Danny is stepping down. Again, to be honest, I feel like, especially with all of the current updates with the votes and stuff, it is very DAO based now. I feel like it's gone past the point of Danny there. Also, there was that AMA with Danny himself, how his answers basically weren't significant enough. People weren't too happy with it. So I guess this is his other way of basically just letting the project run on its own, stepping back, and then he can work on his own new ideas and see what he has to offer in the future. If we take a look at his Twitter, he hadn't actually tweeted anything about this, which was a little bit surprising. We can see his last tweet was about Snoop Dogg. So um, yeah, he hadn't tweeted anything, but Wonderland did a tweet yesterday. We can see we would like to thank at Daniel Esther, for his instrumental role as co-founder of Wonderland. 
We hope he is proud we have matured and can function as a DAO on our own as intended. And then of course, it's a link to the letter that we just read out. I feel like a lot of people had mixed opinions about Danny. Some people didn't like him, some people liked him. With him stepping down from Wonderland so he can truly act as a DAO, I feel like it may bring more people in because for the people who didn't like Danny, obviously they wouldn't invest in Wonderland, but now he's stepped down from his role and it is a full down out, which is very nice. But well, it's just a moving forward for decentralization, which is very, very good. We also just had a quick thread from Wonderland here. Community proposed mar uh, market initiatives are being voted on. Treasury advisor up for vote. Treasury operations have been applied. Redemptions will be executed as prescribed by governance. The multi-sig is being secured with third party signer. And there will be an AMA today at two o'clock to answer the questions from the community. So I will do an update after the AMA tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one. We have lay, already laid much groundwork together and have an incredibly diverse and active community ready to and capable to tackle any challenge along the way. Together, we will grow our market participation and, and position our community for smoother sailing ahead. So yeah, that is the news. Danny is stepping down from a wonderland and it will fully function as the DAO. We can see in the Discord, this was posted yesterday. We can see it again. We'd like to thank, that was the same post. And then the community has been working together diligently to lay the foundations for the road ahead. Much of our work over the last few months has been to increase security and operational stability for this protocol. We continue this effort together. New proposals opening for DAO discussion in the forum. And then those are the points they just covered in the thread. So I guess the AMA will answer a lot of questions about Danny stepping down, what the future of the DAO will look like, because we had, I think we're having two new people join the multi-sig. I guess there'll be a new person to take Danny's role in the multi sign and he was one of the advisors. So again, I will keep you guys up to date as soon as we get any further details with that. Are there any comments on this post? Can I see people's? No, not really. I want to see what people were saying about Danny stepping down. From this post, we can see very cool. Uh, thanks, Danny. Are they joking? Scam round two. So here we can see, yeah, people aren't a fan of Danny. So him stepping down, they are happy. So, um, yeah, people are probably happier now Danny has left Wonderland and he can function on his own so again I'm not sure what Danny will be working on with what did he say his new ideas and he's going to bring some innovation to DeFi so we'll have to wait and see what his new project is I know he did tweet a few days ago about having a new token for Wonderland and a full rebrand well if he is leaving Wonderland I reckon it would be him just starting up his own new project then standalone because the DAO haven't really mentioned the full rebrand and the new token. So I guess that will just be Danny launching his own project. Again, as soon as I get these details, I will keep you guys up to date. Again, there's an AMA today. If you want to tune into it live, it is today at 3 p.m. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on my next video.